Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video I'm gonna revisit Kubernetes Ingress. I've done few videos on Ingress about a year ago, so I think I need to do an updated video because things have changed slightly. So if I show you my YouTube videos, I've done these three videos. This one was the first one. Set up Nginx Ingress in Kubernetes Bare Metal, Kube 31. So that was through a plain manifest installation like kubectl apply kind of thing. And then I did this video around the same time. That was based on Helm installation and where I've explained how to do path based routing and so on. And then I did this Q59.1 Nginx Ingress in Kubernetes where I've shown you what's the effect of deploying your Ingress controller in different namespace to that of your Ingress resource and the actual deployments and things like that. So I would advise you to watch these two videos at least Q59 and Q59.1 to get a better idea. Behind the scene I have changed my GitHub repository, the Ingress resource uh, I've used in this video doesn't work anymore so I had to change it I've already pushed my changes to my github repository so in case you are using my github repository make sure to pull the latest changes all right so I've got my kubernetes cluster up and running kubectl get nodes minus o white so one master two worker nodes and these are based on container d container runtime instead of docker and they are running on ubuntu 20.04 okay so to follow along this video all you need is a kubernetes cluster and if you are running your kubernetes cluster on bare metal then you need to have a load balancing solution installed so i've done a video on metal lb i think i released it last week maybe let me search just me metal LB. Okay, so cube 33, cube 43.1, six days ago. Yeah, that's the one. Cube 33.1, how to deploy and use Metal LB. In case you're using my Vagrant environment or your own Kubernetes cluster in bare metal, you need to have Metal LB or any other uh, load balancing solution. I prefer Metal LB uh, because we'll be using Metal LB's load balancer IP to access the services that we are going to deploy inside our Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so I've already deployed Metal LB if I show you kubectl get namespace that's metal lb system and i can do kubectl minus n metal lb system get all and you can see the controller component speaker component so basically i'm running metal lb and if i expose a service as type load balancer i would get an ip address in the same range as of my kubernetes nodes okay so those are the only two requirements if you want to follow along this video if you're using a cloud provider like if you're using a managed kubernetes service like gke aks eks then you don't have have to worry about metal lb when you're exposing your service as load balancer a load balancer will get created automatically for you okay let's go ahead and search for kubernetes ingress and if i scroll down it's this one kubernetes ingress anyway i'll put a link to this github repository in the video description if you want it so if I scroll down and go to the getting started document and the easiest way for me to install the ingress controller in my Kubernetes cluster is through Helm. So I'm going to go to this link using Helm. So make sure you've got Helm 3 installed because it's only supported um, using Helm 3. If you've got Helm 2, you won't be able to use this method. I've already got Helm installed. Helm version minus minus shot. I'm running version 3.4.2. So that's fine. And if I do helm repo list, I've only got the stable repository added and I can do helm search repo ingress. Right, so there is an nginx ingress chart in the stable repository, but that's deprecated. So that's the one that I've actually used in this video, Q59. But now I'm not going to use that repository because as you can clearly see, that's deprecated and it's no longer maintained. So let's go back to the documentation and you can see here we are going to add a new repository ingress nginx so that's the command we are going to add a new helm repository and once that's done we're going to do helm repo update to make sure we've got the latest version of the charts in those repositories and now if i do helm repo list we have these two repositories and again if i do helm search repo for ingress and you can see this nginx ingress that's deprecated and now we see this ingress nginx from the ingress nginx repository that we just added so that's the one that we are going to use okay and if i go back to the documentation we've done we've added the repository 
we updated the repository now all that's left to do is to install the chart okay so helm install give it whatever name you want and the chart which is this one here but before that i want to do i want to make one more change i need to do a couple of changes before actually deploying it through helm so all i'm going to do is helm show values ingress nginx so that's the chart and i'm piping that redirecting that to a temporary file basically i'm just downloading the values file so before installing this chart i want to customize some of the values so i don't want to go with the default values because in my cluster i need to make some changes so i'm just downloading the values to a temporary file and i'm going to edit that file so if i go down so that's the controller section and if i scroll down let me show you let me tell you what the things that i'm going to change so host network i'm going to change the host network from false to true and then host port again let's enable host port you can see here host network needs to be set needs to be set to true if you are using a cni based kubernetes installation such as ones set up by kubeadm so my kubernetes cluster was provisioned uh, with the kubeadm method and i'm running uh, with the cni support so i need to enable host network and i'm also enabling the host port and those are the two changes in addition to those two i'm also going to do one more change so if i scroll down and i'm looking for the kind yeah there it is kind instead of deployment i'm going to deploy this as a daemon set all right so those are the three changes that i've done to my values.yaml file and now i'm good to install it i'm going to install the ingress controller in a particular namespace so let me create the namespace first kubectl create namespace called ingress nginx okay so i've created that namespace kubectl get namespace we have ingress nginx and we are going to deploy the ingress controller inside this particular namespace so the command to install is helm install my ingress you can give whatever name you want the chart you are trying to install so that's the chart from the ingress nginx repository and minus n is for the namespace we want to install all the resources inside this namespace that we just created and we want to use the values from this file which we changed okay so that's it so that's done and if i do helm list sorry helm list minus n ingress nginx and you can see that's the ingress controller we deployed status is deployed and i can do kubectl minus n ingress nginx get all okay so we have the ingress controllers running on our worker nodes and that's the ingress controller service it's of type load balancer and it's exposed on this ip address which is my metal lb ip address 172.16.16.240 so we have deployed the ingress controllers and now let's play with some of the deployments how we can use the ingress resource to route traffic internally within the cluster and how we can use path based routing host based routing and so on I'm going to git clone my Kubernetes repository, cd to Kubernetes and then to YAML and then to ingress demo. Okay, so in here, so I've got nginx deploy main, nginx deploy blue, nginx deploy green. Okay, first let me deploy the nginx deploy main.yaml. Let me show you what's inside that. So if you are following all my previous nginx videos, all these videos, you would already know what these resources are. But anyways, let me show you. So it's a very simple deployment, an nginx deployment. I'm using the nginx image, nothing fancy. The name is nginx deploy main. So let's deploy this kubectl create minus f nginx deploy main.yaml kubectl get all okay nginx deploy main container is getting created container is running all right let's also expose this kubectl expose deploy nginx deploy main minus minus port 80 cool so we've deployed an nginx deployment and we've also exposed it as a service and if i do kubectl get all all right so that's our pod that's our deployment and that's our service nginx deploy main it's of type cluster ip which means it can be accessed only within the cluster so from outside the cluster you won't be able to access this service so that's the idea we don't want to expose the service directly outside the cluster we want to expose it through an ingress resource so now i'm going to create an ingress resource that will direct the traffic to this particular service right i've got three ingress resource manifest ingress resource one 
ingress resource 2 and ingress resource 3. First let's take a look at what's inside the first one. By the way I've updated these three ingress resources for the latest version. If you are still following my using my old version of uh, the github uh, repository make sure to pull the latest changes because there's a lot of changes in these three files let's take a look at one of them ingress resource one okay so the syntax has actually changed so previously we used to specify service name and service port so now it's broken down into service and then name port and then you specify the number for the port so this is an ingress we are defining so what we are basically defining here is we are defining a host based routing so anything that comes to nginx.example.com will be routed to nginx deploy main service which is a cluster ip service okay let's deploy this ingress kubectl create minus f ingress resource one dot yaml that's done and if i do kubectl get ingress so we've got that ingress and if i do kubectl describe ingress ingress resource one so if host is nginx.example.com and it goes to the nginx deploy main service so kubectl minus n ingress nginx get all so that's the ip address of my ingress controller i need to access this ip address so i'm going to copy that ip address and i'm going to edit my local etc hosts file and i'm going to paste that and say nginx.example.com so from my local host from my laptop here if i go to nginx.example.com it's going to take me to 172.16.16.240 all right and 172.16.16.240 is basically the ingress controller service. So we've got two worker nodes and an Nginx ingress controller is running on both these worker nodes. And this is the service exposed. So going to nginx.example.com, I'm hitting this IP address. And basically this IP address, this service served by these two parts on each of my worker node. That's done. So now let's verify if it's working. I'm going to browse to nginx.example.com. And there we go. Though. So that's our nginx welcome page and that's working fine cool our first example is working fine let's delete that ingress kubectl delete ingress ingress resource one okay kubectl get all right still we have our nginx deployment and the service so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to deploy two more nginx deployment nginx deploy blue nginx deploy green basically these are just same as this one but i've changed the uh, the text in the welcome page let me show you nginx deploy blue for example so basically it's again the same nginx deployment i'm using the nginx image but in addition to the normal nginx container i'm also using an init container to mount a directory and i'm setting this text here basically i am blue the color i'm changing the text color to blue i'm writing it to index.html and the actual nginx container will mount this volume so if i browse to this particular nginx welcome page the home page now i'll be greeted with this text i am blue in blue color all right let's deploy those two kubectl create minus f nginx deploy blue dot yaml and also nginx deploy green dot yaml okay kubectl get ports right so ports are getting initialized let's also expose these two deployments kubectl expose deploy nginx deploy blue and also nginx deploy green right kubectl get all right we have three pods running so that's nginx deploy main nginx deploy green nginx deploy blue and we have three services all of them are cluster ip services so they're not exposed outside the cluster and everything is done through the ingress resource and the ingress controller so now it's the time to take a look at our second ingress resource let's take a look at what's in there okay ingress resource 2.yaml so what i'm basically doing here is it's host based routing so if i'm going to nginx.example.com again i need to update my etc host but anyway before that let me explain it here and if the request is coming to nginx.example.com then forward the traffic to this particular service nginx deploy main and if the traffic is come request is coming to blue.nginx.example.com direct the traffic to nginx deploy blue service and if it's green.nginx.example.com direct it to this particular service okay so it's as simple as that let's deploy this kubectl create minus f ingress resource 2.yaml that's done kubectl get ingress 
cube ctl describe ingress to right as you can see here if the rules says if it's nginx.example.com it goes to this backend that service blue.nginx.example.com is served by this service green.nginx.example.com the request goes to this particular service okay all good so now i need to update my etc hosts file okay so i already have nginx.example.com and i'm just going to add blue.nginx.example.com and green.nginx.example.com save that and go to the browser nginx.example.com that's our default nginx welcome page and if i go to blue.nginx.example.com i am blue that's working fine and if i do green.nginx.example.com i am green okay cool so that's working fine all right so that's working fine let's delete that kubectl delete ingress ingress resource 2 okay kubectl get all and finally we are going to take a look at ingress resource 3.yaml basically so that's path based routing we are ingress resource 3.yaml it looks very similar but instead of per host so in the previous example we saw nginx.example.com host and there's another couple of host blocks where it says blue dot nginx.example.com and green.nginx.example.com but for this one the host is just nginx.example.com but we've got three path path is slash path is slash blue path is slash green so based on the path that we give after the host it takes us to these services deploy main deploy blue and deploy green otherwise everything is the same and if you've noticed there is one additional thing we need to specify uh, to make this path based routing work it's this annotation so in the last two examples we didn't specify this annotation but you can give it a try if you don't specify this annotation it won't work so make sure you have this annotation right let's deploy this kubectl create minus f 3.yaml kubectl describe ingress okay so now you can see the rule is just one nginx.example.com is going to be our host and depending on the path if it's the root path it's deploy main if it's slash blue takes to the blue service slash green takes to the green service and we have this annotation added all right so i'm going to edit my etc host file i don't need these two anymore so it's just nginx.example.com right let's go to the browser nginx.example.com okay that's cool that's our welcome page and if i go to nginx.example.com slash blue i'm blue and if i go to nginx.example.com slash green i am green cool right i think that concludes uh this video so i will see you all in my next video until then keep learning and keep on learning bye bye